Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a glam makeup tutorial for you guys on this beautiful aqua blue makeup look. I feel like it's been a while since we just sat down and did a super full glam look. So I'm super excited about today's video and I had so much fun filming this for you guys. Something fun about today's video is that I'm also doing a eyeshadow palette review on Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette named Destino. Look at how fun this palette is, you guys, and you can see I created such a fun look with this palette, and it was just really, really enjoyable, you guys. So if you're interested in knowing what my honest thoughts are on the eyeshadow palette, and if you're interested in knowing how I got this super glam makeup look, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, you guys, we're gonna start with skin prep. I'm going in with the Skin Ink Supplement Bar and I'm just going to apply this all over the face. Because it's winter, I need to add some hydration and glow back into the face. My skin tends to get really dry during this time. So I'm going in with the Merit Great Skin product. This is my little travel size that they gave me. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this take two pumps and I'm just going to work this into the skin. Skin is prepped. We're going to go in with some color corrector. I have the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector and this is in the shade medium too. I'm just going to apply this onto areas where I have hyperpigmentation. So I'm just going to go around the mouth and then also just like under my eyes and then anywhere where I have little acne scars, I'm just going to go over top of those as well. All right, next we're going to jump into foundation and I'm going to be jumping into one of my favorite drugstore foundations that are perfect for glam you guys like this foundation will not disappoint and that is the wet and wild photo focus foundation this is a full coverage amazing long lasting foundation you guys it's definitely mattifying and i just love it they do have a dewy version i have that one as well but i think for today's look i want to use the original the matte version so let's go in with this Look at that flawless base, you guys, and you can easily layer and add more to get more coverage. And since today I'm doing a full glam look, I'm definitely not going to hold back on making it cakey and really getting a full coverage finish. All right, foundation is done and I'm loving the flawless base that we have going on right now. So next up, I want to go ahead in and prep the eyelids for eyeshadow and to do so, we're going in with a full coverage concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to just blend that out with a beauty blender and then set everything in place with the Huda Beauty Translucent Setting Powder and I like to use the shade Pound Cake. All right, you guys, I'm super excited about jumping in to the palette that we're going to be reviewing today. This is the Destino Palette by Alamar Cosmetics and I'm super excited to try this because I've never tried Alamar Cosmetics and I absolutely love the packaging of this palette, you guys. So right now the palette is actually locked, like I can't open it. You actually have to unlock the palette for it to open like how fun is that and look at these fun colors you guys there's beautiful neutrals there's pops of color there's shimmers i definitely want to play with color today hence why i'm wearing a blue shirt because i want to go in with the blues i feel like this is the exact color of the shirt i'm wearing so i'm super super excited let's have fun with this palette i'm gonna start by going in with the shade camello and I'm just going to apply this color onto my crease. Wow, I'm absolutely loving this shade and I feel like the pigment is going on really nicely. I'm just going to work on building this up to create a nice shadow. Next, I want to go in with the shade Timba. This is a bit of a darker color and I'm just going to apply that right on top of the first shade just to intensify the shadow on the crease. And I'm going in super, super lightly because I don't want it to be too harsh. I'm just going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to cut my crease before we go in with the shimmer.
I'm gonna go in with this shade Buena Vista. I'm taking this on a Morphe flat brush and I'm just going to apply that onto the inner portion of the lid and I'm just gonna pack the color on. I'm gonna try the other eye with my finger and just see how that applies. Wow, that also applies very, very beautifully. I wanna take the shade Ojala. I really hope I'm pronouncing these right and I'm just gonna take that color and apply it onto like the middle portion of the lid and just kind of blend that in with the first blue that we applied. We'll try the other side with the brush and see how that works. That's also going on pretty nicely. I'm not noticing too much fallout, which we love. I don't like dealing with fallout. I'm just gonna go back in with the shade Camello, which is the very first shade we applied. And I just want to dust that onto the crease because I don't want any harsh lines. Then I'm gonna go in with Timba, which was the darker crease shade, and also go in with that into the crease. Going back with the blue, and I'm just going to diffuse that onto the lid just to make sure that there's no harsh lines and really just wanna blend that upwards. You can also take the brush and do this, just kind of push the color upwards to open up the eyes. I'm gonna take the shade Timba and I'm just going to buff that onto the outer portion of the eyes. This is the darker shade that we applied onto the crease. You just want to apply that on the outer corner and this is gonna be the start of our smoky eye on the outer portion of the eye. Next up, I wanna go in with the shade Tierra. Taking this color on a dense Morphe blending brush, I'm gonna concentrate this just on the outer portion and this is just gonna add more dimension. Going back in with Timba, which is the lighter outer corner shade that I've been using and I'm just going to buff out the outer portion just so we can create a nice outer V. And I'm also just gonna drag the color up a little onto the crease. All right, eyes are looking really good so far. I do wanna take a break from them, work on the face a little bit, and then we'll go back in and wrap up the eyes. So I wanna go in with some concealer. I really wanna conceal the face. So I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm just going to brighten up the face. I'm just gonna use the concealer to clean up the eyeshadow and create a nice outer V. And to set everything in place, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Translucent Setting Powder. So while the setting powder is setting in place and doing its thing, I wanna add some eyeliner to the look. So I have here the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Graphic Pen. This is a 24 hour waterproof eyeliner. I've actually never used this, but I'm excited to try it today. So we're just gonna add a nice wing to the eyes. All right, eyeliner is on. I'm just gonna go ahead in and wipe away the setting powder because it's all done doing its thing. I'm just going to wipe it away and also just drag any additional powder onto the rest of my face because I wanna powder, contour, blush, and highlight. So I just wanna make sure my foundation is nice and set or else the products are gonna go on patchy and we don't want that. Taking the shade Timba, I'm just applying this onto my lower lash line. This is just gonna add more dimension since we're trying to go for a glam look. Since this look is all about blue, I really wanna go in with some blue liner on my waterline. I do have this metallic blue eyeliner by Real Her. It's a pencil liner and I really wanna use it. It's like a deep blue. Let me swatch it on my hand to show you guys. So this is what the color looks like and I just wanna put it on my lower lash line I feel like it'll just add more fun and pop to the look, so we're gonna do that next. I feel like the blue on the waterline definitely tied the eyes together and it just elevated it, so I'm living. So I'm gonna quickly go off camera and finish up the eyes by popping on some lashes as well as some mascara. So for mascara, we're gonna try the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow again. I did do a review of this mascara and I wasn't really a fan, but I do want to give it a shot again and see how it works with some 
falsies and usually when I go in with falsies I don't put on too much mascara it's really just all about the lower lash line so why not give it a try again and I'm gonna go in with some kiss lashes I have um, a pack of five here with different styles and I think I want to go in with the pompadour which is this one right here so I'm back and I did my lashes off camera as well as my brows so we are basically done with the eyes and I'm just loving how full glam this makeup look is you guys I think this looks wonderful and it's literally how I envisioned it when I saw the blue shades I really wanted to create a fun aqua blue look like this we're gonna move on to finishing up the rest of the face I want to add some bronzer and I want to go in with the wet and wild color icon bronzer and this is in the shade sunset strip tease I actually love wet and wild products you guys which is why I'm featuring them in today's video so let's go in with this wet and wild is such a good drugstore affordable brand which is why I love featuring them because it just goes to show you don't need to break the bank at Sephora to get a nice full glam you know good quality makeup look you can achieve that with drugstore like my base is drugstore you guys the foundation I shared is drugstore and just look how flawless it looks and look how amazing makeup is looking on it so you really just need to do your research and find the good stuff at the drugstore just want to clean up the nose contour with some setting powder next up I'm going in with this persona blush and this is in the shade caramel I love this blush you guys so let's put it on I'm applying this kind of higher up to really snatch the face and of course on the nose you can't forget that and just a little bit on the chin for more color for highlight I'm going in with the Tres Luce Beauty this is the Playa Dreams palette and there's a cream shade and a powder shade so I'm just gonna go in with the powder shade right here look at that pop you guys i am living that looks amazing some on the cupid's bow and of course the nose you do want to add a little bit of highlight on the inner corners of the eyes just for a little bit of a pop and the very last thing i have to do is my lips and i want to go in with some lip liner this is the wet and wild lip liner in the shade chestnut i love how i'm featuring yet another wet and wild product you guys wet and wild is wonderful definitely check it out you can find it at any drugstore walmart so it's really accessible and it's really good stuff for lipstick i have huda beauty interview All right, and the very last thing I have to do is set my face in place, and I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, so we're gonna go in with this. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for today's glam makeup tutorial and eyeshadow palette review on the Destino palette by Alomar Cosmetics. Overall, you guys, I am definitely obsessed with how this look turned out, and I can confidently say that I really like this palette. From the fun packaging to the fun colors, I definitely think this palette is definitely worth a shot and is definitely worth having in your collection because I feel like I don't have a lot of these colors in my eyeshadow palettes. Like, one thing I would say is that this palette could probably have more neutrals, but at the same time, I feel like it's also not necessary if you have other eyeshadow palettes with neutral shades you can just dip into those and then have fun with these colors so it really depends on your collection but I personally didn't have a problem playing with this palette and creating a nice fun look for you guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and you guys that is pretty much it i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys